Brought to you by GTA, your island, your network. Taking her first tour of Simon Sanchez High since she's been in office, school safety is on the mind of Governor Lou Leon Guerrero and her right hand, Lieutenant Governor Josh Tenorio. Now I'm wondering with the break-ins in and out of the news, what do you think is the immediate solution to resolve that? For the break-ins? That happened here at Simon Sanchez and at BLG. Well, you know, better security in the facilities, I think, if we had um, maybe cameras up. But, also, but more importantly, I think it's awareness about respect for property, you know, both from the students and the community. It's not just the recent break-ins, but a list of safety concerns, such as heavy weather, substance abuse, school violence, and potential active shooter situations. That's why the Gov's office announced the creation of a school safety partnership, promising to tackle these issues. The partnership will focus on addressing three areas of concern, including securing facilities like the much-anticipated rebuilding of the home of the Sharks. Of course, facility is a major, major, major concern. And uh, the superintendent, John, and I we were talking, and he has assured me that he is going to be very aggressively pursuing the process that we have to do to build Simon Sanchez. But safety is also not just about facilities, but safety is also about your whole health your whole life. The governor's office and GDOE will work with members of the Guam Police, Guam Behavioral Health and Wellness Center, and Guam Homeland Security. Lieutenant Governor Josh Tenorio will be spearheading the effort alongside Superintendent John Fernandez. One huge area is in uh, behavioral health and wellness, in mental health. We know that suicide is very, very high. Our whole mission is to try and reduce the number of kids that are going into the juvenile justice system and to do things on the school site that are going to be more effective. The final piece is law enforcement um, responsiveness and presence in our school system. And of course there is a public discussion about what level that needs to be in, but we want to make sure that you know that when you come here that you have every expectation to be in a very safe learning environment. During the press conference, he adds they have big ideas for student transportation so students do not have to wake up at 4 a.m. to catch a bus. The governor is setting a deadline that recommendations to tighten school security be submitted by the end of June. Reporting for Guam's Network, I'm Carmen Victoria Trilahi. Brought to you by GTA, your island, your network.